Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about this wireless go kit from Rode, so stay tuned. I know, but I can't get it right. Okay. Hey guys, if you guys know anything about uh, vlogging or audio or production or live sound, recording, whatever it is, you probably heard about this. This just came out. It's the Rode Wireless Go Kit. It's marketed as the world's smallest, most versatile wireless microphone system. So we're going to go deep dive into this and I'll tell you something about it. Um, so this is really compact. It's really good. I used it in a few situations that it probably wasn't designed for, for instance, uh, conference calls using GoToMeeting. Um, what was the other one? Skype business link. Actually, Skype will work fine just in Skype. Um, you need adapters and stuff, but we're not going to talk about that one too much. But I did get a chance to use it a couple times. I'm going to tell you about it. So let me show you what comes in the kit. In the kit, you get the receiver. The receiver has a little LED panel on it. Um, you know this one is a receiver because it's the only one that has an LED. Um, the receiver charges via USB-C also has a 3.5 millimeter jack for an output, has two buttons, one for um, your decibel, you get three, set, three settings, and one for your um, pairing, pairing button. It comes paired out of the box, so you don't need to worry too much about that. With the decibel button, you get to select between three settings. I think it's minus 12, minus six, and zero dB, um, but that is the receiver. You also get the transmitter. Transmitter is exactly the same size. Look at it, same size. Um, this transmitter is great. It has a 3.5 millimeter jack for um, external microphone if you want to plug one in. Um, it also has a built-in lavalier microphone. It also charges USB-C. It does not have a screen on it, but it does have two um, LED status lights. One for your connection, um, one to tell you the battery status. So, receiver, transmitter. You also get um, two windscreens. Um, these are <laughs> pretty cool looking windscreens. Um, I do have one complaint about this windscreen. Um, it does not stay on very well. For instance, it plugs in by these two little plastic clips like this. That's all you gotta do to plug it in, right? But because it plugs in so easily, it also falls off really easily. Um, I've had a few instances, actually probably all, um, the one or two times I heard to use the windscreen. Every time I clip it on, the little, look, it fell off already. The little um, thing falls off so easily. So if you're gonna use this, you need to find another way to secure this. Um, I don't know how you would do that, but hopefully somebody will figure that out. But you get two of them, probably because you're gonna lose it pretty easily. You also get a 3.5 millimeter TRS, I think this is a SC2 cable, comes with that. You get a quick start guide, regulatory and safety information. This is not really a guide, more of just safety information. You could probably scan this uh, QR code and go to the Road, webs Road, Road website um, to find out more information. You also get this carrying case. This is actually a pretty nifty carrying case. It uh, feels like a neoprene sleeve and the whole entire system fits inside of this. Uh, I can put this in there, these cables in there. I, I don't really carry these because I don't really use them because they fall off but the whole system fits in there. Um, you also get the, I guess the quick start guide is um, printed on this little box manual thing here. Quick start guide and two USB-A to USB-C cables. Um, these actually feel like really nice cables. They're not the cheap stuff. Some of the stuff you get from, um, I don't know, some of the cheaper stuff that you get, good quality cables. I did not use these cables because I have a bunch of USB-C cables already. For instance, I used the USB-C charger on my MacBook to charge these two. So anyways, um, that's pretty much the whole thing that you get um, that comes in the whole kit. All right, now that we showed you what's in the box, let's talk about um, the system. The system is actually really compact. They almost look exactly the same. They're pretty much the same size. Both the transmitter and the receiver both have a little clip. I don't know if it's called a belt clip or whatnot, but it does have a little clip. Um, for the mic, the clip is actually really good because it just clips on to your subject like so, and you're good to go, right? If you have a button-up shirt, kind of clips on like this or so, a button-up, it's really good. Um, the clip 
I think it's plastic, so I do have a little bit of um, worry about the clip to see how long it will hold up or if it's even uh, replaceable um, in the end. It does have a little rubber piece right where the clip meets the, the back of the, each unit and that helps it from sliding around. It also does have four, six little teeth um, to help it from sliding off because if it was just a clip without teeth, it would easily slide off. Um, but the clip, or I mean the uh, transmitter has a 3.5 millimeter jack for an external microphone if you want to plug one in. It does not have a locking um, port. So um, do have to know that if you use a lot of uh, locking connections all the time because you're going to pull it out, but it does fit in there really tight. I mean, it does not look like it's going to be falling off accidentally anytime soon. Um, so just be aware about that. Um, but it actually works really well. One of the good things about the uh, clip is that it is the exact same size that you need to fit on a cold shoe or a hot shoe or not sure what the official term is, but it fits in perfectly. For instance, this is a, a place where you'd hold one of your flash units. These are pretty much always all the same. Fits in there perfectly. Look at that. If you had a camera or if this was a camera, this is all you need, right? I mean, you don't need adapters or or plugs or any of that um, to hold it in. So this is actually really great. Um, main reason I picked this up is to improve the YouTube uh, audio qualities. So this is pretty much the whole entire system. I've used it quite a bit. Um, one thing I really love about this system, besides it's um, being digital, is that um, it's really small. Like I mentioned, it's so small. Look how small this is. This is smaller than your phone. Um, to give you size comparison, this is the Audio Technica System 10 um, 2.4 gigahertz wireless system. I use the system a lot. Have not really had a problem with the system. I don't think ever. Um, I eat system at least once a week um, when I play guitar, or play instruments or whatnot. Um, it has antennas on here which are not on here right now because I'm using it to record this video. Um, but this is the whole system and I thought this was a compact system when I first got it, right? Uh, they do make, a, I mean, there's a lot of other compact systems on the market but got this probably two, I don't know when it first came out, but a few years ago and um, actually it might have been like four or five years ago or whatnot. But um, I use it at least once a week. Works great, has not broken down, has not had any issues. Um, I use it in some venues where there's a lot of other um, wireless systems, meaning um, professional wireless systems and Wi-Fi systems. Uh, if you guys don't know, um, Wi-Fi systems still can operate either within the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum or the five gigahertz spectrum. But anyways, this is a great system, not had any issues with the system, not bashing Audio Technica or anything, but um, they make great stuff. But this is pretty big even just for YouTubing, and I pretty much use just the phone for YouTubing, so my YouTube setup is really small. Um, so this is the body pack transmitter, this is the receiver. Um, to give you size comparison, this wireless system from Rode, the whole unit is pretty much smaller than this one transmitter, okay? Or this one receiver. Um, and this receiver clips on to a, to a little plastic unit and receives and you can get the audio out into the phone, which is how I'm doing it right now. But this is really small. This is really small, right? I mean, look how small this is, right? So the reason I really use this is because it's extremely small and I keep my YouTube system or YouTubing system to a very uh, small setup. Um, uh, I also used to use an analog system. So this is the Sennheiser EW100 G3 wireless system. I mean, Sennheiser makes great stuff. Everybody knows Sennheiser makes good stuff. But this is the receiver unit. This is the transmitter unit. Um, this is works on the analog spectrum, or this is an analog system. These two, the Rode and the Audio Technica are digital systems. Um, one of the good things about digital systems is that because they're digital, um, they can talk to each other and tell each other to switch frequencies um, as needed. So pretty much they're almost always have, having at least two frequencies they're transmitting on, or transmitting and or receiving on. And if they run into an interference problem, they can switch. 
um, and the two set of frequencies can always switch all the time. Whereas an analog system like this, um, it pretty much has two, two or three frequencies um, depending on which model and system you get. And it's always transmitting on those two or three frequencies. And if it has a problem with at least one of the frequencies, it would just stick with the one, but it cannot automatically shift the two frequencies to another two set of frequencies um, automatically because it's an analog system. But the good thing about analog systems is that their latency is really low. Um, these digital systems have somewhere around five milliseconds of latency and it comes, um, really bothers you when you're playing guitar. Maybe it's just me. Some people may not bother them as much, but for me, it bothers me um, a little bit you can hear a little bit of the delay. But um, for um, audio geek, I mean, um, interviewing or YouTubing, it's not gonna be a problem. Um, analog systems do not have that problem. Also, um, analog systems, I did uh, a little bit of range test on this. This, um, even though it's really small, the range on this thing is incredible. Um, the analog system seems to have at least two times the range of these digital systems. But if you're in, you're just YouTubing, vlogging, or whatever, interviewing, you don't really need all that range. But anyways, um, receiver, transmitter. This receiver is actually pretty heavy. Um, I'm actually pretty glad that it's heavy because it's built out of some kind of metal. Um, whereas these systems are all plastic, not bashing it or anything, but they're probably meant for portability. Um, but look how small this is. Look at that. That's small. Um, and that's the reason I picked it up. Um, so, um, Rode Wireless Go system here. Let's turn it on real quick and I'll give you a quick comparison. So to turn it on, for some reason, on this uh, quick start guide, it tells you to turn on the transmitter first. So you turn on the transmitter. You gotta give it about a three second hold. Here we go. Turns on. You got two battery, uh, two LED lights, come on, they're blue. Um, you turn on the receiver. There you go, power's on. It even says wireless go as it's powering on. Um, so here, let's see if you can take a quick look at this. This is the wireless go system from Rode. Um, you probably can't see it very well, but the LED screen is lit. Um, you can see the little icons on the LED screen. I'll take a picture of it. It'll probably be a little bit better. But um, really small and it's working. One thing that may or may not bother some people is that these two LEDs, I can't seem to find a way to turn them off. Um, so if blue lights or whatnot really bother your videos or whatnot, that could be a problem. Um, but this is really good. Like I said, just clips on here. Oh no, that's bad. Don't, don't drop it. Clips on here. Um, you're good to go. You put this right on your phone or right on the hot shoe of your rig or whatnot, and you're good to go. I um, mean, if you are going to use this on your phone, you do need to pick up an SC7 cable. What is an SC7 cable? So this pretty much is a cable that has two 3.5 millimeter jacks, but um, one side ha is a TRS cable and one side is a TRRS uh, plug. If you don't know what that means, it means tip ring ring sleeve. Um, so if you're plugging this into something like your phone or whatnot, you need this. If you don't need, if you're not YouTubing on your phone or something like that, you do not need this. It already comes with a SC2 cable um, and most of you guys are going to be be pretty good with that. But I'm gonna give you a quick audio sample from this. Right now, I've been recording this video using the Audio Technica System 10, using pretty much this system right here. Um, that's what this um, Audio Technica mic sounds like. Let me give you a quick check here. Let's read something off of this box. I'm gonna read this box to you and I'm gonna do the same thing using these other systems, these two other systems and you can judge your own, you can be your own judge for the sound comparison, okay? I'm gonna read something. I hate it when people say, mic check, mic check, and that's all they really say, right? As a live sound engineer, I really hated um, audio systems, or wireless audio systems. Um, but as a user or a consumer, they're actually great. They're probably the best. Uh, but I will say wireless systems have come a long way since about 15, 20 years ago. So um, they've improved a lot. So I'm more okay with it now. But anyways, 
Um, we'll give you a microphone check with the Audio Technica System 10 system right now. This, um, the Wireless Go is the world's smallest, compact, most versatile wireless microphone system. The transmitter acts as both a clip on mic or a belt pack for a Rode Lavalier, sending crystal clear broadcast grade audio via 2.4 gigahertz on the on camera receiver. All right, next up, I'm going to do the same test. So I plugged in, right now we're hearing audio from the Rode Wireless Go kit. Uh, wireless Go kit. So let's read the same thing. Here we go. And now I'll spice them all together right next to each other so you guys can be the judge for yourself. The Wireless Go is the world's most compact and versatile wireless microphone system. The transmitter acts as both a clip-on mic or a belt pack for a Rode Lavalier, sending crystal clear broadcast grade audio via 2.4 gigahertz digital to the on-camera receiver. All right, so that's what the Rode Lavalier um, thing sounds like. Um, Rode Go wireless microphone system sounds like. At the end of the video, I will probably shoot, um, tell you, do back-to-back -back comparison so you guys can be the judge. But for now, I'm gonna take this Sennheiser mic um, and plug it into the Go kit so you guys can tell um, if there's a big clear difference or not. Sorry, I do not have a Rode mic, but I only have the Sennheiser mic. All right, so now we're using the Sennheiser mic that came with the EW100G3, and we're gonna read the same sentence all over again. The Wireless Go is the world's smallest, most versatile wireless microphone system. A transmitter acts as both a clip on mic or a belt pack for a Rode Lavalier, sending crystal clear broadcast grade audio via 2.4 gigahertz to the on-camera receiver. All right, now that we tested that, we're going to test it via Sennheiser. Let me be right back. All right, now we're using the Sennheiser EW100G3 system. We're going to read the same sentence. The Wireless Go is the world's smallest, most versatile wireless microphone system. It acts as both a clip on mic or a belt pack for the Rode Lavalier, sending a crystal clear broadcast grade audio via 2.4 gigahertz to the on camera receiver. So um, we're back using the Audio Technica um, Wire System 10, um, since that's what I had set up right now. But anyways, um, like I said, this is a really compact system. It works really well in the few situations that I've used it in. It's an early review. Maybe later on, a um, few months or weeks later, I will maybe give you another review. Who knows? Um, I am really, really happy that um, Rode decided to use um, USB-C and not micro USB or mini or any of that stuff, prim primarily because I'm a MacBook Pro user and I always have USB-C uh, ports. Like I said, for me, this works great. I'm always carrying um, USB-C cables for pl charging and plugging my MacBook. Um, see my other video for that about the best portable MacBook Pro chargers. But anyways, um, this is a really great system. I'm actually really glad that they made this system. I can't um, wait to continue to use this a lot. I'll show you how compact my YouTube system setup is. Yes, I'm fairly new to YouTubing, but I do not always want to be carrying around a lot of equipment and stuff just to um, make videos. Hopefully it's been helpful to you. I hope this video, uh, this will last, um, this, <laughs> this, review has been helpful to you. Um, one thing I will say in the range test was um, this digital system, because it only has, I think somewhere around 55 feet of range or whatnot, um, don't expect to get that if you're in a really crowded area, but um, works best if you have line of sight. Actually, almost all wireless systems work best if you have line of sight, but um, the range on these guys are not as good as the range on this. Um, it is also not as good as the range on this. But like I said, this is an analog system. It's a much bigger system. Um, these are much bigger systems. Um, I'm sure when Rode came out with this, they were probably looking for or targeting the run and gun. Is that the, I don't know, the shoot and go or people that are always on the go um, recording videos or whatnot. So they wanted they probably wanted to come up with something really compact that's just really reliable. Just turn it on, kick it on and go. Like I said, it's made in Australia, comes paired out of the box. All you really do is, actually if you really want to use it, you can use it right out of the box. It comes charged, so that's good. Um, whereas something like this is a little bit big. Um, 
Actually, well, um, let me. I will say one more thing. One of the things I'm really glad about is that they included a built-in microphone. I cannot tell you how glad I am about that, um, especially since almost all the other wireless systems, even the Sennheiser XSW or whatever, not this one, but the Sennheiser XSW, the really compact one, you still have to plug in a microphone. And if you guys know anything about Sennheiser microphones, these cables are really, really thin. Um, they're almost half the um, thickness of the Audio Technica cable. So um, just to even set this wireless microphone up, yes, you probably get better audio. Um, but for people like me, and you're always on the go, you do not want to carry a lot of stuff and, and take time to even set one up, right? Even just clipping this right here, um, it's good enough, right? So. Um, but they did leave that feature out there. I know a lot of people are gonna say, hey, the battery is not removable. I wanna be able to carry extra batteries, but hey, then it may have to be a little bit bigger. Who knows? Um, something like this, you probably won't be able to put a AAA battery into, but I'm glad they kept it what it is. But like I said, if you're right out of battery, um, you can plug it in, charge, and use it at the same time. That is important. Um, this you can charge and use at the same time. I've done that before. There's really no way to charge and use this system at the same time. Um, they do have rechargeable battery packs that you can plug in, um, that, that Sennheiser makes that you can plug in. Um, these systems are actually great because if you get one of the, like the uh, roadie systems or whatnot, um, that's not the actual name of it, but uh, performance systems, you can just drop it in and it'll charge and you can pull it out and it comes out charged. But I don't use those uh, systems in my setup. So um, you can't really charge this and use it at the same time realistically. Um, so I'm glad that they came out with this. I hope this lasts me a long time. This is my first road purchase, I guess. Um, I've seen a lot of other people use their mics and stuff, but for me, this is the first road item that I've purchased. Um, I've always stayed with the Sennheiser, the Shures, or the uh, Audio Technica systems. Actually, I recently sold off my Shure one, so. But anyways, um, hope this video has been helpful to you, and hope this is helping you guys out. I'm not sponsored by any of these uh, brands, so this is just my opinion. I hope it helps you out. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below, and we'll see you guys next time. Um, the Wireless Go is the world's smallest, compact, most versatile wireless microphone system. The transmitter acts as both a clip-on mic or a belt pack for a Rode Lavalier, sending crystal clear broadcast grade audio via 2.4 gigahertz on the on-camera receiver. The Wireless Go is the world's most compact and versatile wireless microphone system. The transmitter acts as both a clip-on mic or a belt pack for a Rode Lavalier, sending crystal clear broadcast grade audio via 2.4 GHz digital to the on-camera receiver. The Wireless Go is the world's smallest, most versatile wireless microphone system. A transmitter acts as both a clip-on mic or a belt pack for a Rode Lavalier, sending crystal clear broadcast grade audio via 2.4 GHz to the on-camera receiver. The Wireless Go is the world's smallest, most versatile wireless microphone system. It acts as both a clip-on mic or a belt pack for the Rode Lavalier, sending a crystal clear broadcast grade audio via 2.4 GHz to the on-camera receiver.